Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to edit like Jerry Production. If you guys don't know who Jerry Production is, he's one of the biggest music video directors in the game. He specializes on running gun videos for big artists like Lil Durk, Polo G, Lil Baby, and the list goes on and on. Most of his stuff is running gun, so it really gives him a unique editing style, which I think a lot of people today are copying. Let's hop right into it. We have two music videos pulled up. We have Hanging with the Wolves, and then we have Risky here. Both of these videos came out in the past one to three months. So we're going to be breaking down these videos here. As you can see, when they start, the iconic tag. Lots of B-roll. As you can see, he utilizes slow-mo a lot. All these clips have slow motion on them. Super fast cuts with film burns. Another film burn. Regular footage going to slow-mo, like this. And then when the beat comes in, it's gonna start speed ramping. As you can see right there, it went from regular to slow-mo to speeding up. And that was a reverse there. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can do all of this in this video today. And then moving on to the second video here, Risky. Once again, starts off with slow-mo. For this one, he has a film effect, which I'm gonna show you guys that you can recreate on your own. We have this really cool film overlay as well with this kind of film stylized look on it. You can see on the pole here, you have this halation, which I'm gonna show you guys that you can recreate. Lots of slow-mo, lots of film overlays, and his colors are really vibrant. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna start off with speed ramping. I did a video on that a few days ago, but just quickly going over it, opening the exact same project file here. I'm just gonna go through and show you guys how I speed ramp videos. So as you can see, we have the song here and then we have our footage here. Going ahead and turning our footage on here, I'm gonna show you guys how I would speed ramp this. So speed ramping is practically, if you shoot your footage in 60 frames per second, you could slow it down to 50%, which would make it 30 frames per second. You have the ability to slow your footage down. If you're shooting in 24 frames per second or 30 frames per second, it's not gonna look good. It's gonna look choppy. I'm sure you guys have seen that choppy slow-mo before. It just doesn't look good. Recommend changing your sequence also to 24 frames per second. And just gonna go ahead here and show Show you guys how i do this so once the beat hits at a certain part like right here see where the peak hits i'd cut the footage and bring it up and then extending it like that and cutting it one more time we can right click go to speed and duration here and change it to 50 percent as you guys can see as i play it here we're going to have normal speed footage going into slow-mo and then we have the slow-mo and what he likes to do a lot is after a few seconds or like when another beat hits in the song he'd chop it right click on it and then speed it up so i'm going to change this one to 300 and then he usually makes it last for like five to six frames and it's going to look something like this as you guys can see that's just the basics of speed ramping just follow the cues with the beat and you guys will have that set down and packed just remember like i said shoot in 60 frames per second that's what jerry production does so in this little dirk risky music video he uses this film overlay that has the white particles on it i'm going to be showing you guys how you can shoot that today with our film look pack we're going to go ahead and show you guys how you can get those white particles and how you can also get the halation that he used on this video on the railings and it also has a nice glow to everything so we're just going to open up our film look pack here and we have a bunch of different overlays going down to our super 8 millimeter damage look we're going to drag and drop that on our footage here and putting it on top as you guys can see if we play it through it's going to be kind of that particle thing but they're going to be in black so to change that we're going to click on it go over to effect controls and change it to multiply as you guys can see it's still going to be black he has it on a white one so i'm going to show you guys how you can achieve that today so changing it off multiply we're going to go ahead and do effects and apply a tint on it now going back into effect controls here as you guys can see we have the tint we're going to map the black to white and then map the white to black and it's just going to switch the roles there and then once you switch the roles we're going to go ahead on here and change it to screen and then boom just like that in the video you have those white particle overlays and it is 4k so you guys can also zoom it out now going back into the video as you guys can see there the halation the red glowing areas to get this effect what you're going to want to do is chop the area of the footage that you want to have it on hold alt and drag up we're going to click on the above layer and that's just going to duplicate it twice we're going to go into effects and using our exact same film look pack opening it up here the film look by tiny tapes we're going to open up the film halation presets and we have a couple different modes here we have high intense low and medium we're going to go ahead and throw on low there and as you can see it just makes the reds glow a lot so if you guys do want to turn it down you can go into effect controls and turn down the opacity just to have it glowing a little bit so I'm gonna change it to something like that. Just so it's there very, very slightly. I really like the look of that. And then adding on top of the film look, we can go ahead and throw on this border here, which I'm a huge fan of. 
I love the way these borders look in videos. And then if you aren't on a 4K video, you're gonna have to scale it out to be able to see it. So you have that really cool film border there. And then you can go ahead and apply some grain as well. So I'm gonna throw on the 35 millimeter grain, just like that. And then you can set it on overlay. It's gonna give you a very slight grain effect. The other grains are more intense. And as you guys could see, we have with everything, and then without everything, he cuts his videos really fast. So if you guys want to do that, just cut to the beat like I was saying before. As you guys can see, he uses all these film burn overlays. All these film burn overlays that he uses on his videos, I recommend grabbing from scene packs. If you guys go over to the Cinepacks website and go over to the film effect, they have a bunch of different options for film effects. As you guys can see, there's all these burns, pretty much the same ones Jerry PhD uses. They have a ton of options and they're honestly the best choice. If you guys do want to go check out scene packs, I have a link in the description below. You guys can save yourself some money. So for example, I'm just going to throw a film burn on here, just like so. And then what you do is you'd go over and change it to screen. You could really get those cool effects. And then if you do want to change the color of it, like Jerry PhD does, type in HLS and throw on the color balance. And if you do want all of them to be the same color throughout the video, I recommend going and playing with the hue. So he had them as a blue for this video. So we're going to do something like that. And you could also resize it to make it more intense and cover the screen a bit more. And then playing with the opacity, you can really match it to the scene. So we're going to match the blue that he goes for. It's that easy, guys. Go check out Scene Packs Packs down in the description below and save yourself some money. The style is super simple and that's pretty much just covering it all in this video. He goes for super clean color grades. He cuts really fast using speed ramping and film burns. And he also adds a film effect every now and then. If you guys do want to check out any of the packs I mentioned in this video, they're all linked in the description below. Go save yourself some time and money. If you guys do want to go follow Jerry Production, he's also linked in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I recommend checking out one of these two videos linked above. They will help you a lot in your editing journey. Thank you guys. Peace.